Hello, boy. Hello. Come, yes, I'm coming. David Spencer is 24 years old. Like I said before, I used to really suffer from depression. Uh, understandably so, with all the stuff that happened to me. Normally I'm like a get up and go kind of person, like pull your socks off, get on with it. And that's what I used to do in the past. And when I would get depressed, I would just hide, go hide myself in, the, in my flat. And um, nobody would see me until I felt better and then I would come out again. And of course I would medicate with uh, alcohol, cigarettes. I, I never took drugs really, not seriously. Uh, I was too scared of drugs. <laughs> and um, then I got married when I was 36. And it was tough. And at 40 I, I hit a major, major wobble. Uh, so much so that like I became suicidal again but I was just I had no energy I had no will to live I just wanted to cry and a friend recommended for me to go see a psychologist sometimes you just need to talk you know um, and sometimes it's nice to talk to somebody that doesn't know you and then after that six months one of the things that she said to me is you need to go do something for yourself because I'd always because I had no value self-value I um, I never did anything for myself I had I would follow the poverty spirit so <clears throat> I could never do anything that was nice for myself and then I want to follow me over here then uh, I'll go on once we're inside Anyway, so then I decided that I'm going to start horse riding because I always wanted to ride. It was my dream to ride. Um, I'd been wanting to ride since I was a child. Um, never had the opportunity. So I, I remember that it cost me 250 rand a lesson. And I had no idea. You know, everybody thinks they can ride, but nobody actually knows how to ride. And that's where it started and it was really good for me because it was something I did for myself it was outdoors when I got down and depressed all I had to do was climb on the horse and go and I love being outdoors I love being in nature um, I love the smell of the horse the sweat then Yeah, I started riding and, and it helped and I learned so many lessons, perseverance, persistence, fear, I had a lot of fear. Um, yes, come, come, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So he's an old boy like me, 24 years old, which is 82 in human years, but everything in my life always happened late. When you're in your 50s, your life's not over. So we ride, the two of us, a little bit mad. Um, he thinks he's five, <laughs> behaves like it sometimes. But he looks good. I mean, he looks a bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like me. <laughs> like I said, the lessons I learned with the horse, it, it taught me to appreciate myself, to give myself some grace. Because you know, if you try and tell a horse to do something, and he doesn't get it right it's not the horse's fault it's because you didn't communicate right so if i don't get things right in my art or trying to talk to somebody or trying to understand where they at then i need to change the way i'm communicating and i suppose that's part of the whole encaustic thing was I changed the way I could start like I was communicating to people. I try to find a better way to communicate my beliefs and my emotions and my feelings and my main belief I think is hope.
Jose, good boy. So tomorrow, today we're a bit late, but tomorrow we're going to go for a ride. Hmm? Old boy. And that's my horse. Okay, I think I am happy with this painting now. I think it's looking quite good. There's beautiful colors. It evokes quite a lot of emotion in me. If you look from the side, you can see actually the thickness of the color. All in oil. You can see the painting is very thick. So, yeah, I think I must leave it. And I think I'm going to call it jealous for my heart so let me know what you guys think and please share and comment um, the giveaway painting is still up for grabs just look at these beautiful colors